Now this may look like an equine outing more than a century back, and you'd be partially right. It's all about recreating a 19th century adventure in a 21st century setting. The lots of trees, a very scenic area. We're gonna go through the woods. Please follow the arrows, but otherwise you might get lost. And uh, have fun. Every year, Joe Daling invites carriage collectors from all over the area to his Northern California farm. It's a relaxing and often bumpy journey through his vineyards, fields, and wooded areas. I was born in, in, in Germany, okay. and in my, uh, when I was a teenager, we still were using horses to, for work and hauling things. We also had tra uh, tractors, but uh, I would say half of the work was done with horses when I came here in 1960 in, in Germany. So I, actually, I always was around horses. I met other people who had horses and carriages, and I think it was in 1978, and said, Joe, you got a nice ranch. Why don't we have a carriage drive here on your ranch? And we're doing it ever since. And we formed a carriage club. We call it the Antique Carriage Club. Our mission is to teach people how to use horses to pull carriages and also to preserve those old carriages for the future. So Joe said, hey, today, come on, bring your Linzer wagonette and, and wear your dress Austrian up. dress up <laughs> and spice things up a little bit. So that's what we did. Tom and Connie Hodgson brought their Austrian horses and dressed up for the occasion. Yeah, yeah it's just, and the people, you know, a lot of friendly, good people. And to keep the art of horse driving alive too. As the city grows up, we just lose an open space and chance for that. So yeah, it's, it's also that too. It's fun, plus it's just yeah, keeping the art alive. It's an eye-opening experience and, and just, just fun to be able to really kind of relive a little bit of history. And I think that's, you know, come out and come out and relive some history. Just get into it. And, uh, and we love it because everybody loves horses, but now you you get to you know, be next to a horse and be pulled by a horse down the road, and the horses love it. And a lot of people don't understand that, that the horses absolutely love doing this. It's a thrill for them. While many of the riders stick together, others venture off on their own, although it is easy to get lost on this 400-acre farm. Joe has been hosting the ride for 36 years, and he knows why it continues to be popular. Hobbies they make you think of something besides work. <laughs> Horse and buggy usage started declining at the turn of the 20th century thanks to the automobile. By 1920, autos outnumbered carriages. But Joe says that even today, there are still jobs on the farm that only a horse can do. I bought this ranch. There was a really, really muddy road here and I could not use, use a pickup or a tractor to drive down there. I said, well, in the old days, we used to use a horse and a, a wagon. So I got myself a horse and a wagon. The ride is also an opportunity to show off the beautifully restored wagons and carriages, or in Jane Peterson's case, custom-built carriages. Well, I designed this carriage. I've had a number of ones before this, and the Amish built it for me. It's very comfortable. It's very comfortable. It has good springs and good padding. It's four wheels, so it's comfortable, not like a cart that only has two wheels. And it has brakes. I've been driving it now for 15 years. So when you're sitting in this seat, you're in control? You are in control. And I have worked with my animal so that I trust him to do traffic, highways, in town, proud. And you've been coming to this for 20 years? For 20 years. You just love it. Well, I just love it. And it's so gracious of Joe Dolling to open this facility up for people to come. This is an art, isn't it? You'd hate to see it go away. I would hope that the younger generation would pick it up as being a hobby of theirs and continue on with it because it's so enjoyable. After the ride, everyone gathers for an old-fashioned cookout. It's an opportunity to share memories of their annual ride and for these carriage collectors plan for their next horse-driven adventure. <laughs>